What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today I was uh, looking over some of my uh, deal machine postcards that came back in the mail. Uh, one of them came back, you know, saying that the house was vacant. So here's a picture of it here. I pulled it up on a Google map so you can see what it looks like. So uh, one of the deal finders on my team must have looked it up and found out that it was um, vacant. And now I'm going to do a little bit of research to see if I can contact the homeowner. And I want to let you know exactly how I would do that for free. So this video here is basically going to show you exactly how I will go about doing it. So the property here is, uh, what is this? 1110 Wycombe up in Florissant. So, and actually I found out too, when I just looked it up, that it's actually a pre foreclosure that's going to auction on August 23rd. How about that? So you got multiple pain points. Look like a vacant house. Uh, looks like it's going to auction and uh, we'll see what else we can find out about it. So the first thing I would do, I want to find out who is the actual owner of the property. So to do that, I would just look up the real estate taxes on our local uh, real estate revenue site here, St. Louis County. I will come in over here, click property address, put in here, what was it, um, 1110, and the street was Wycombe. We would search it, it will pop up down here, and it will show that the owner name, or the owner of record is Violet Cullen. We will click on that, and we'll see her information here. Uh, we can see tax amounts due and all of that stuff. No taxes are due, but it is up for foreclosure uh, due to the mortgage. Uh, also on here, you can see other information such as, wow, they got a lot of stuff going on here. All the times they bought it going backwards from 2018 when something happened to 2002 to 2002 to 2001, all the way back. And it even shows you the different types of deeds. It was affidavit. Oh, I guess somebody, I don't know, affidavit. Yeah. Then they got warranty deeds, trustee deed quick claim deed. So this thing's been transferring a lot since 1977, but that's not the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video is to try to find out who is the owner and how can we reach them? So I go to my favorite site, which is truepeoplesearch.com, truepeoplesearch.com. It's uh, three ways you can look up a person on here, their name, the reverse phone number, if you have their number or the address, these three main columns, which is very important to make sure you check that out. So what I would normally do is do the address first, I go a little backwards. So, so we know the address is 1110 Wycombe Drive. We will put it in here. It's 1110 Wycombe right there. Put in your zip code 63033. You can't put in city state zip like it asked there, but I don't do that. I just put straight in zip code. I don't need to type all that out. I'm looking for shortcuts. I'm looking for success. I don't look for long way arounds to do things. So as we pull up that address, a couple people come up. Patrick M. Cullen, Susan Cullen, somebody Miller and another Miller and Violet. Is that the person we're looking for? Violet Cullen, yeah, Violet M. Cullen. She's the owner of record. So that's the person we're looking for. But if you see here, it says she's 97 years old. She might have went on to the afterlife. I'm not necessarily sure, but we can view details right here for free. They got two phone numbers on here, um, some email addresses, um, previous addresses if you want to cross-reference, and then possible relatives if you need to reach one of these people that were um, look like they came up on the other part as well. So like I said, you can look it up from the reverse address. If we had their phone number, we wouldn't be looking for their phone number, so we probably won't be using that one. Or you can look up their name. So if we put in here, Violet Cullen, right? Violet Cullen, same zip code, 63033, and it will pop up just showing her. So that's the, one of the simplest ways you can look up the basic information on a person, give them a call, see if we can reach out to them and try to stop their house from going to sale five days from now, August 23rd. Oh my, I don't know if we can save them. You gotta have a cape on when you call somebody like that. So hope this video helps you out with the basics as far as looking up somebody's name for free on truepeoplesearch.com, one of my favorite websites. Now you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you wanna get more great videos like this. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out in any type of a way. Um, plus, uh, don't forget to join the free Facebook group, WokeRealEstateInvestors.com, talking about virtual wholesaling, talking about subject to wraparound mortgages, lease, sandwich lease options, all that creative stuff. Learn that and more at WokeRealEstate.com. And for the last thing, my favorite website is WokeRealEstate.com. So I'm going to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Do what you do. 
be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me.